Jamie. Hi, I'm Gemma. From Play Go Preschool. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. All week, we have been sharing ideas for group day. We did our centers on... I feel like that was Tuesday. Thursday. That was Tuesday. And yesterday, we shared some circle time activities. So if you haven't watched those two videos, you might find some things that you can use with your students this week and next week. Today, we're going to share our favorite Earth Day processor. So there are, I think if you go on Pinterest, 9,250,000 Earth Day arts and crafts. So we make no claims that this is our own exact original idea, but this is what we do with our kids. And so <laughs> hopefully it's something that you can take the idea yeah. and do it with your own kids too. It's good, they enjoy it. Our favorite thing about process art is always that we don't have a sample necessarily to show our students. The thing with process art is we let the kids explore the materials and make it look however they want it to look. Now, when you do that with preschoolers, sometimes you end up with a pile of papers that just look like a big pile of papers, which is okay. But sometimes, as we've mentioned in other videos, it's nice to be able to take that random pile of process papers, yeah. <laughs> and make it into something that can go in the fridge at home and have that wow effect. The parents like something to hang on the fridge. Hi, everybody. So we're going to share with you how we incorporate this process project, and it's one of the ones, like these raindrops that we showed a while ago, um, that we turn into something that they can take home and hang up and maybe even save. Okay. not have a pile of papers. No. Sometimes a pile of papers is okay. Yeah. <laughs> we think that you probably have all the supplies that you need for this art project already, so no worries. The supplies that you need are blue and green paint. Now, we used acrylics because I thought they would be more vibrant. They're a little more vibrant. Acrylics are not necessarily washable. They say they are, but they're not 100% washable, and your fingers will be blue forever. So, if you look at my vi the video on Tuesday, Gemma's hand, she looks like a smurf. Yes. Green and blue. <laughs> um, so, if you don't want to use acrylics, we totally support you. We understand that. You could also just use washable tempera paint like we use at our art easel. Either one, it doesn't really matter. You could use watercolors. It doesn't matter, blue and green paint, easy enough. And then the other supply that you need is coffee filters. We buy them in bulk. <laughs> I mean, like a stack. I love making stuff with coffee filters. They're just so versatile. If you don't have any in your classroom, get a parent to donate them or sometimes people buy coffee machines and then their filters don't fit anymore and then they have a big pile of coffee filters. Ask them for them. I think they're so from good. Costco. I think there's like yeah, 20,000 like coffee filters or something. We've had them since you can 2005. Make, you can make so many things. <laughs> Same with paper plates. The coffee filters definitely get some coffee filters. Now, if you don't have coffee filters, do not worry. You could just get a paper towel and cut it in a circle. That would work too. That would work too. But we're lazy. And so coffee filters are already a circle. They're already a circle. <laughs> That's all you need, coffee filters and paint. And the rest, we will show you how we did this. So we have these aluminum trays that are probably also from Costco. They were like a big stack of them. We have about 50 We like them because they contain mess, because they have these nice high sides. And so what we did, if you don't have them, you can just do it on the table with a piece of newspaper. Or in a cardboard box. It's all good. Don't, don't stress. It's, it's fine. We're all for stress-free art projects. So we just put some paper towels Two of them down in there to kind of absorb the paint. And then each child got a coffee filter. Okay, so I will say when you write the child's name on it, make sure you use a um what not a water base. Yeah, don't use a sharpie or a sharpie's not work. No, I, no, no, they kind of run a bit. Use something that Just won't like, wash away. Like a, we would say a biro <laughs> in England, like a ballpoint and what is that? A ballpoint. A pen. Use a pen. Use a pen, not a sharpie or a marker. <laughs> it's I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> when you when write with like when all the names washed off one year, and I was like, oh man. Do them before they start. Yes. And then to so this is all that everybody has a tray of paint of uh, uh, coffee filter, and then we just mix the paint with a tiny little bit of water to make it go farther. And much like the raindrop activity, we put them in cups and. You could either use droppers. These are plastic pipettes. You can order them online. They're super cheap, like $2 for a dozen or something. I don't know. If you do not have a pipette, 
Do not stress. Sometimes if you go to your local pharmacy, they might have some that will be prepared to donate to you. But if you don't have that, it doesn't matter. You can also use a paintbrush or a Q-tip. It's easy. Anyway. Seriously, this is not this is not rocket science. And then we just let the kids explore with the paint in their trays. So are we actually doing this? I think so. Okay. So they can uh, drop, which is really good for their pincher grasp and fine motor, and just make a big oh, we, like blocked our view here. Yeah. And they're just going to get their coffee filter all painted. It's good to have more blue than green because in the earth there's more ocean than water. And the dark I mean, more blue ocean than water. The dark blue looks the best on it. It looks really If it's not too watered down, the uh, acrylic paints actually leave a pretty cool, we're pretty good here. Okay, that's a pretty cool um, design on the coffee filter. So then it looks like this. We set our trays outside in the sun because coffee filters dry. Dry really super quickly. And then, after they're all dry the next day, what you're going to end up with is a pile of coffee filters that look like this. You could just send the coffee filters home. You could. Which we do sometimes. But Especially if they've made more than one, sometimes they make more than five, they will just keep doing it. But if you would like to make something that's, oh, this is what they look like when they're finished. Too. Look, I brought a finished one in. Like when they do the cooking shows and they pull it out of the oven. So I had it finished. <laughs> and so then you're gonna have this pile of so, so this is still on the paper towel. There's the, you can just about see it in oh. there. So I don't think this one's quite dry yet. It's pretty good. Then you're gonna take these coffee filters off and you're gonna have just a big pile of coffee filters. And what we like to do with them. Yep. Yeah. Woo, got a lot of stuff. Is to glue them onto some black construction paper or you could use black cardstock. Now we just use a regular old glue stick. It's again this is not rocket science and because they're already shaped as circles you could you even have just have the kids do it of course they could glue this on and when you stick it down to this black um, construction paper and then it kind of looks like an earth. Our three-year-olds a lot of them have turned four and our four-year-olds have a lot of them turned five. And so we took it one step further. And after they were glued down, we asked our students, I gave them a word card with the word earth. You can also <laughs> write it in capitals if you've got younger kids and they're not quite ready. And then we used one of these paint pens, but they also sell like silver Sharpies. Or we you had a silver Sharpie and try it out, try it out. You could use a white crayon. Do not stress about this. Art should not be stressful. And we just asked the kids if they'd like to write Earth at the top. And so these are our five-year-olds. Didn't they do a fantastic job? This, they wrote Earth and then their name at the bottom. I picked this one because it would look the same in the thing. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, Earth doesn't look the same. No, but Hannah's name Hannah, does. look at that. And so then they just wrote Earth. And we've got them hanging kind of all around our room. And we're so excited to send these home. They look um, incredible. For their parents to put on the fridge next week. So don't those look awesome? And it was a great fine motor practice. They got to see how the colors were mixing together. Um, we put a you know a little science into it. We took them outside to dry in the sun. And then they also did writing with it. So super easy. And we think they look fantastic. They do. They look really amazing. And it really wasn't that much work for us. It should not be that much work for us. The cleanup was a little if an art project is more work for the teacher than it is for the kids, then it's not worth your time, honestly. If you're spending, I've talked to teachers and they're like, oh, you know, last night I spent two hours cutting out pieces for my art project. I was watching TV and I, you know, for two hours I was cutting out ears and eyes and wings and whatever. And I would say, how long did it take the kids to put that together? And they're like, oh, about two minutes. Minute? So if you're spending two hours preparing for an art project that takes your kids two minutes, Stop the madness. It should be the opposite. It should take you two minutes to set up an art project that they can work on for 10 or 15 minutes. So, yeah, that's it. That's a much really, better. That's a really important thing to remember. That is really important. Anyway, um, theme for May, we're doing farm animals. Can't wait to share that one with you. And we hope that even if this isn't the exact project you use, that it might spark um, an idea that you can use with your own kids. We get everything? I think so. We should do one more And then I think um, we still have a few more uh, circle time activities to show you. Not today. Tomorrow. Another day. Tomorrow. We hope.
hope you'll join us again. And in the meantime, have lots of fun playing and learning with the kids. See you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye.